Hello everybody and welcome to T-Pulse Corner. This is your host Travis and we're on day 22 of Evergreen Month where we take the Evergreen Terms that Wizards of the Coast has defined and these are the game mechanics like Life Link and Trample and Vigilance and Menace and every day we release a new video that creates a different deck that's centered around one of those mechanics and today we're doing Landfall. So I've got a deck called Lands Are Falling and it's a green-white deck that has a pretty good sampling of everything. Uh, basically um, it's it's a uh, how do you want to put this the adventure cards have high value because you can cast a spell and put a creature down uh, the double-sided cards have value because you have a choice on what to do this is also a place where you have extra value just because you can put a land down and some people don't like the the mechanic because they think it's a gimmick you can literally do nothing but put extra land down when you get the right creatures or enchantments down and you're you're winning the game right but uh, it's part of the game and we're gonna go through it and let me go ahead and show you all the cards um, but first landfall the ability triggers when a land enters the battlefield under your control so it doesn't matter if it's a uh, counter or somebody dies or somebody gets flying you're gonna put a land down and if that card has landfall it's gonna trigger something and what we're gonna hopefully do is we're going to put down three or four different creatures or enchantments or whatever and that way we'll have three or four triggers going off all at the same time and hopefully that'll give us the advantage we're going to see if packing an entire deck full of nothing but landfall cards that that work off of each other can overwhelm the opponent so we start off with a skyclave pickaxe and it automatically attaches to a target creature if you got one on the battlefield and whenever uh you put a land down it gives them plus two plus two until the end of the turn Four copies of Fearless Fledgling. It's whenever a land enters, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it, and it gains flying until the end of the turn. Kazandu Nectar Pot, when you enter the land, you gain one life. Lotus Cobra, you add one color, add one mana of any color. Uh, now, not every card is landfall. We do have to deal with flyers, remember, so I've got one copy of Plummet in there for that. I've got four copies of Rabid Bite to do kind of creature removal. We've got four copies of Canyon Jerboa that have landfall. Creatures get plus one, plus one just till the end of the turn, but that's every creature on the battlefield that you control will get that plus one, plus one. Only one copy of Scoot Swarm. Scoot Swarm is probably the, the most famous, or maybe I should say infamous card in the landfall deck. Uh, most times you'll, you'll have a Scoot Swarm deck, and it's got four copies of Scoot Swarm, and it's combined with Mutate, and when they get that engine mechanic set up it's nothing but mutex spells and ramp spells all designed to multiply scoot swarm with some big creature mutated over the top of them and it's remarkably effective and it seems like they have the perfect draw half the time unless you try it and then then it fails horribly uh, but maybe that's just me territorial scythe cat uh, this one gets a plus one plus one counter on it with every land and that's a permanent counter that stays one other removal blade banished to exile a target creature with power four or greater two copies of the enchantment Felidar Retreat. Here you have a choice. You can either create a 2-2 white cat beast creature token that shows up there on the left, or you can put a plus one, plus one counter on every creature you control, and those creatures gain vigilance until the end of the turn. Four Prowling Felidars, related to Felidar's Retreat, right? Um, these guys get plus one, plus one counters on them. One copy of True Love's Kiss to exile a target artifact or enchantment and draw a card. One Canopy Baleth, that's a green one, gets plus two, plus two until the end of the turn. One McKindy Ox, when a land enters, you tap a creature in opponent controls. One Heliod's Intervention, you can gain twice life or destroy uh, X number of artifacts or enchantments, depending on how much mana you have free and how many targets you want. And the rest is lands. So what we're looking at is 25 creatures, which is a decent number. 24 lands, which is a standard amount. And it's mostly landfall with, you know, the, the exceptions made for mostly just the, uh, the removal spells. So we're going to take it out for a spin, and we'll see if you like this deck. If you like what you see, hit like. If you want to get notified of the other stuff we're going to be putting out, hit subscribe. Here we go. I'm up against Test Account. Well, isn't that how Skynet takes over the world? Only Greenlands, we're going to hope that we get some white to kick in soon. And the one thing that I don't have a lot of, I've only got flying on my turn, really. If I get the right kind of creature down and get a land. 
And there's a lot of flyers out there these days. But Lotus Cover gives us the chance to get around that until actual white Rana shows up. So it doesn't hurt us that much. However, if we have too, well, we have too many flyers, I might uh, keep us alive. Um, they quit already. I guess they tested what they wanted to test. Okay, nice little mix of landing creatures. That's a lot of cards. Hope he doesn't expect to use them all in this particular match. Okay. Come on. The Nectar Pot can be good for bonus life, but it's also easily disposable as a chump blocker. We will make that trade. And they may be desperate. I'm actually going to hold our ammo a little bit here. Make them think we have land trouble. I want to get Fearless Fledgling out at the same time. We can benefit with every land drop we have with both creatures. I would have taken out the fledgling usually myself. He seems to be concerned about me gaining life. So maybe that hints at the strategy of his deck. There's an instinct when you have land to put it down automatically, so you got to remember to reverse that inclination. Let's get more numbers out here. It's almost muscle memory to put your land down automatically, so sometimes you really have to force yourself to stay here. Okay, here I'm going to do the plus one trick. I don't really need mana right now, but we will take it. And these guys... And sometimes this happens with decks that have a lot of cards, is they can't quite get all the cards they want to fend off an early battle. So we see that we got a nice line of defense down with a good landfall enchantment. I'm not sure if we should take full credit for that or if he was having issues because sometimes when you have a deck that's 250 cards, that's hard to manage. But we'll take the second win. Opponent goes first. Why is that happening all the time tonight? I 
I'm hoping we don't face too many decks with flyers just because this particular combination that I put together doesn't do all that well. We've got still a sledge in me, which can get flying. But only on our turn. And this is probably gonna be a Griffin Airy deck, right? It depends, they got green in there too. Maybe just a pest deck with Vito in it. Some of the flying angels that take three of our life when they get three life. Here's where you tell how much of a gambler your opponent is if he does the gambling aspect of Tavern Swindler first. And no, instead they're just going to attack. The Han Solos that play Magic the Gathering would have flipped for the coin toss and the possible win of life. No Han Solo here. And we're definitely not playing with Lando Calrissian. Okay, we might have a new player. They're reading the card. We attack? Yes, we should. Turn three is very critical. Could be here for a while. Or maybe they just went up to go use the restroom. We don't know. They didn't turn on the webcam for us. There's the one that costs us three life when they gain three life. And now you're going to gamble. It did not pay off for them. Too bad. So sad. Does me no good to attack right now. Her toughness is four. But if we're still around next turn, that will be a different story. I like having this is kind of ace in the hole for later if we get low on life. They might have a shadow sphere or something that we need to get rid of instead. Landfall's pretty good because it's heavy with the counters and that stops Heartless Act, which a lot of decks are still using. That's not a Heartless deck. I was already going to have enough problems with Flyers as it was. You had to do that to me? Depending on how lucky the Tavern Swindler gets, all we're going to be able to do here is if they bother to tap out with all of their defensive line, we'll be able to maybe break even on the life gain. But if we can keep the pressure up and keep their life low, they might get too hesitant to actually make that gamble at all. And we might even delay them from attacking. The problem is they've got a lot of cards, and we're almost done with what we have. Yeah. yeah, 
I called it Vito and the Flyers. Might as well put all three others down and start a band. It's Vito and the Indulging Patricians! With Tavern Swindler on base. And with the combination of those two, it does at least seven points per turn. And they got lucky again. One more turn like that and I'm dead. Okay, which means... I have to attack with these guys now. I couldn't afford to put down the others. Their life gain is already up over 20. I don't think they're willing to give up Vito. So, we did good with that, but I have to use this now. Well, yes. Well, hang on, it's an instant. Let's see what happens. There's one point of damage. I really need a rabid bite to take out Vito. I've got four of them in the deck. Nothing's come up yet. Probably have about an eight percent chance of drawing one. No more than that, because of all the cards I've drawn. Ugh. I can't use Heliod for both. The intervention has to give me life or get rid of the artifact. Okay, I'm gonna wait till they attack. Okay, they attack with everybody. I can block one of them, which means I die. Which means I have to use Hell to mention how to heal. But they're tapped out. Put on everything I get. And attack with everybody I got. Landfall still wins the game. Hoo -ah. I can't say that I've heard of a Hulk Logan before. I've heard of Hulk Hogan. I've heard of Logan Wolverine from the Marvel Comics and the Hulk. I wonder if they got together and had a kid. Hulk Logan. Well, it looks like we got plenty of landfall ammo to start with. At least to get everybody out and ready. Blue means fires usually, and it looks like we're dealing with a bunch of angels, which could be a problem. We get down the scythe cat at least. No good to attack. Ooh, that hurts us a tiny bit because he's not around to get buffed up by the land that he's going to put down. But, before we get him back, we're going to put down the beast. And we're going to keep attacking every chance we get. I 
we have to reverse the order of things. What's the bigger threat to them going to be? Trample or Vigilance? And are you already done attacking? Okay, so we do it in reverse order. We put down the land last. Let's get our guy back. Let's get our troops back! Put our ammo in. You know what? We can survive getting through on one of those attacks, can't we? Ouchie. That's so disturbing. I'm sorry, it would be, but we came prepared. We're actually going to hold our... Oh, we don't need to worry about holding our ammo. They're done. Was that a rage quit? That might have been. Get to go first for a change. This is actually kind of an awkward hand. It looks like it's going to be slow. Typically, when you get something like this, you'd think about mulliganing. Especially if they're going to do that to you. Well, we can't win them all, right? Especially if we're up against a mutate deck. Going slow against the mutate decks is usually certain death. Baby Godzilla. Yep. Oh great, we missed our land drop. In a landfall deck. That's just lovely. I think maybe we won too many matches in a row. the mutate people seem to take so long to make their move. Well, it is the third turn. It's very critical. Maybe this isn't a full mutate deck. It's a little bit variant. Yeah, we might just get crushed by the Outrider alone at the rate we're going. him the djinn and he'll take one creature or the other but he won't get them both he takes the two maybe he felt he needed the land put down first. I guess another beast. We still don't have enough spare mana to equip the pickaxe. So 
that's something that you may want to consider, especially in this kind of deck list. Maybe drop the pickaxe for another plummet to take out a flyer, since I don't have I only have one plummet. Or one of the other green spells that combats the flyers. Yeah, he's taking too long. We just got no chance. And that's what happens when your landfall deck draws no land at the beginning. That's more like it. That's our ammo. Could still be in trouble. Green has a tendency to build up really big creatures faster than everybody else. And they typically are able to put down stronger creatures faster than Landfall can build up. Landfall needs time to build their counters. And we didn't get any of the usual chump blockers ahead of time. Get down there. So we can't really afford to waste any opportunity to attack. Aha! Get that guy down first before we put down the land. Now if he wants to, he has enough he can just pump up the brush wagon attack. I kind of hope he does. Oh, we're going to make him pay for that. Remove the defender. Will he let us? Yes, he will. Excellent. And that's the trick to when they ramp. If you've got the people on the ground, you got the troops on the ground, you punish them for ramping. And that's a good place to end our videos, I think, for the night. Hopefully that demonstrated uh, to all the new players the wonderful power of landfall, especially when you get multiple landfall cards that can capitalize off of each other and cooperate with each other. And uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching the videos. If you liked anything that you saw, please like us. If you want to get notified of things we're going to put out, please subscribe us. Subscribe to us. In the meantime, keep an eye out because there's always another deck right around the corner. Have a good one.